All right, so I see, um, I don't know if the other board members have seen, but Mary forwarded um, a rendering from Chuck's sign company. Other people see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. And, oh, wonderful. Good job, Kristen. Yeah, there it is. And so last time we were concerned because we, we weren't sure, even though you told us, uh, we weren't sure from the sketch what the dimensions were. And so now um, that problem is solved. It says a new three, four foot sign, 12 square feet. And that's what the um, bylaw does require, a sign that's no more than 12 square feet. And it also indicates that the upper sign is being removed. Yep. And that the lower sign will be the one. So uh, I don't think I have any questions. Uh, I, I have a question. Um, I did a little research after our last meeting and I measured signs both north and south of me. And of all the businesses that are on that uh, stretch, the wax barn is literally the only one who falls in compliance and some of them i mean like usi who's 300 feet away from me has a 28 square foot sign the home store has an 800 square foot sign or sorry a 32 square foot sign orchard trailer has an 18 square foot rainbow motel has a 32 square foot lnl has a 32 square foot uh cn wood has a 16 square foot so uh i just i, I would love any kind of clarification i mean i know i'm trying to do, i just i'm trying to do the right thing but when i talked to the sign designer he said he put it at 16 because he said that's literally the smallest sign that it would look good so i know i have the 12 but i don't i don't know if i'm going to even replace it at this point for a 12 because if he doesn't think it's going to look good i don't want to spend thousands of dollars replacing a sign just to not have it look good you know what i'm saying Sure. So the answer, which may sound bureaucratic, is that this board um, is not what's called an enforcement board. In other words, we don't go out and cite people for violations. It's the building inspector's job. And so we deal with uh, cases that come before us. And one of those types of cases is a special permit request for a business sign just like yours. And if it meets the requirements, we're almost always gonna allow it. And if it does exceed those requirements, we're probably never gonna allow it unless there's some special circumstance. So I don't have any uh, recollection of us approving any of those signs to tell you the truth. And, and I've been on the board a long time and so have the other members so one could conclude that they're illegal and that this building inspector could be notified or has been notified and has chosen not to do anything. I don't have any particular insight into why those signs are as large as they are. I don't know if anybody else does. Some of those go back along to Rainbow Motel that I don't know when that was. I mean, that's been there forever since I was a little boy. Yeah, I and that, that I, occurred to me too. So there is a concept of grandfathering where if the sign is in existence before the bylaws come into play, they, uh, they could still continue. So, so that might be one situation. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's understandable. I was, just I was just curious, to be honest with you. I just, uh, like I told you guys before, I'm just, I, I want to do the right thing and make sure I stay compliant with what I'm supposed to be doing because I don't want to, I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers. I'm a new guy in town, so. Mm -hmm. Understood. Well, you're definitely doing the right thing by seeking a permit. There's no question about that. You know, whether it business-wise helps you through on business versus the other sign, that's obviously your, your call on that. But um, I would say I'm inclined to uh, vote in favor of it. I don't know what the other board members feel. I'm inclined to vote in favor of it. Yeah, just, I, would vote, I would vote in favor of it as well. Just want to make sure that uh, uh, 
it's only supposed to be, if it's backlit, that's internal lighting, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. is the limitation that the bylaws require in that zone. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay. I have a, I have a setup on my, I just uh, replaced the switches at the, at the facility so I can control them all from my phone and set times. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, just my own two cents is that the new sign does look nicer than the old sign, whether it draws in people, I don't know about that, but. That's what I was going to say. I mean, definitely it's a huge improvement and a nice logo. Well, thank you. Okay, so then uh, keeping with our bureaucratic framework, let me make a motion to close the meeting and then Eric, we're just gonna have a brief discussion amongst us without you participating and we'll proceed to vote and you'll listen to it and you'll hear it all. So I make a motion to close the public portion of the hearing. I second. Okay, so as indicated, I'm in favor. The sign um, drawing uh, answered my questions from last time and I would vote in favor. I would vote in favor. Fred, you're the other vote. Yes. Uh, before I vote, Roger, there, is there other people on the site that have comments or opportunity to comment before we? Oh, you know, I, I didn't ask. That's just a good question. Well, I, I mean, I, I hate to exclude people that wanted oh, to we vote. Don't want to exclude. Uh, is anybody here, Mike and Lisa or Kellogg family, interested in weighing in on this case? Uh, do nope. they know they're okay, no they're, no thank you okay all right so then um Fred, thank you for pointing that out okay okay I, I have no no problem i would vote to approve approve the sign as proposed okay so then it's unanimous which is what it's got to be it's three zero in favor of approving it so eric the um way it works we have to draw it up and, and file it with the town clerk <clears throat> which we'll do and um it probably won't happen until the beginning of the week then 20 days have to go by and you pick up the permit from the town clerk indicating that no one has appealed it's unlikely that anybody would but it's a legal right and once that happens you have to record it at the registry of deeds which is at the courthouse in greenfield there's a fee for doing that. Okay. Do I do the? Do I record it with the registry yep. of deeds, or do you guys? Yep. The town clerk can give you a little bit more okay. about that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, sir. I wish you good luck. All right. Thank you guys so much. Great. Good luck. All right. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so we have no other uh, matters scheduled, but we have two other people who apparently are here and want to say something. So um, either Mike and Lisa or Cal family, um, what would you like to say to us? No comment from me, just uh, checking in, see how things are going, that's all. No agenda. Great. We were also just checking in to see uh, how things work with you folks. I expect there is going to be something coming up before you that we will be involved with. So we were just looking for uh, a little bit of information ahead of uh, time. So we knew what we were dealing with and uh, what was going to be the best way to go about it. Great. It's a public meeting. Always free to attend. Um, so uh, we do have another case on November 17th which is a marijuana application down on River Road. So you're welcome to attend that as well. Terrific, thank you very much. Okay, stay well. Yeah, Roger, re regarding the 17th, that's uh, championship weekend is the, is the 19th. And I think I'm taking my team out to the site on Thursday. So I didn't know if I'd get back in time. That's why I was um, silent on response. All right, but I think we have um, a quorum. Yes. Yes. Everybody. Else? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good seeing you, everybody. Good job hosting, Kristen. And um, it made me nervous all day, but I, I got okay. it together. Wow. <laughs> okay.
Oh, well, so let's talk about the process. Yeah, um, I can draft it up and I'll get it over to, um, well, let's see. I have to sign it. So Bob, I'll drop it in your mailbox, which is what I- Absolutely, and then um, Fred, I can come over to your house or I can leave it at the um, town offices, whichever is easier for you. Why, why don't you just leave it at the town offices? Okay. I will, as soon as I, after Roger gives it to me, I'll sign my portion and then I'll um, bring it over to town offices and I'll let you know, or have Amy let you know that it's oh, there. Here's right. Mary. Wait, oh, wait. Ma Mary just popped in. Oh, good. Cause I have a couple <clears throat> questions for her as for, as far as writing it up is concerned. Hey, Mary. Hello. <clears throat> we were quick. And we've already voted to approve the sign permit. I was wondering if I could get from you. It the says, data. I've got 701. You were really quick. <laughs> okay. Oh, you spent for seven or 640? It was 640. Oh, my God. I forgot. Oh, I got confused. I'm sorry. All right. My mind reverted to, I don't know, years ago. <laughs> well, that would have been very quick. But uh, <laughs> I need from you the data filing and then the date of publication. The date, uh, okay. Let me go for that. September 14th is the date he applied. Oh, good. Okay. The last thing. Great. But I don't have the, when it was published. I, I, I've got it. It'll, it'll pop up in a minute. For a few minutes. Any minute now. Bob, I'll try to get okay. on Saturday. Okay, you, you, I'll try to get over to your mailbox. Okay. Yeah. The uh, publication dates for the ad. September 22nd and 29th. Oh, great. Thank you. And yes, they did. The ad says on September 14th, he applied to replace the sign. Great. All right, well, that's the actual business that we've got. And um, we just talked, Mary, about the fact that we would have a quorum on the 17th. So that's good. Anybody else have anything to mention? No? Nope. Okay. I will stop the recording. <laughs>